My name is Eric Madison. I am a rheumatologist at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. And I'm here with Dr. Kornick. So my name is Divi Kornick. I'm a rheumatologist in uh, Brest University Hospital in France, and I'm currently working at Mayo Clinic as a research fellow. Dr. Kornick and I worked on a study to examine the epidemiology of Sjogren's syndrome. This paper, titled Incidence and Mortality of Physician-Diagnosed Primary Sjogren's Syndrome, Time Trends Over a 40-Year Period in a Population-Based U.S. Cohort, will appear in an upcoming edition of the Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Sjogren's Syndrome is an autoimmune disease that is quite uncommon. It has multiple manifestations, the most uh, frequent of which are dry eyes, dry mouth, but it can also affect many other organs such as the nervous system, heart, lungs, and kidneys, and can have a very serious outcome. What is unknown is how common Sjogren's syndrome actually is, and that was the purpose of this study. So we performed this study to um, count the number of new uh, incident cases of primary Sjogren's syndromes that were diagnosed in Olmsted County in the last four decades. So Olmsted County counts um, 150,000 inhabitants um, now, and we uh, uh, diagnosed around six uh, new patients for 100,000 inhabitants uh, in uh, average over the last 40 years. We observed a trend for a progressive increase of this incidence over uh, the last 40 years, so the disease seems to become more common. And while uh, the disease can have very severe manifestations, we did not find any uh, over-mortality of those patients compared to the general population in Olmsted County. So that means that patients who have Sjogren's syndrome have about the same survivorship as people from the general population without Sjogren's overall. Exactly, when we compare f uh, two patients with the same age and sex. So the principal findings are then that we're finding that there is more Sjogren's in the population than in, in the past decades. Uh, there are about six cases per 100,000 people each year, and that um, it fluctuates in terms of how frequent it is by year, and that people who have Sjogren's Overall, even though it can have very serious health consequences, patients have a survivorship that is about the same as the general population. Thank you very much, and we hope you enjoy our article. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.